Hey, Ethan. You're working late. Hey. Hi. This is so the light. You're you're working. Hey. Hey. Saw the light. <laughs> you're working late. Just trying some ideas. Also, I saw there's this contemporary group coming from Alice Springs performing Wednesday night. I thought it might give you some inspiration. I don't know if that's the best idea, you and me going out. Oh, it wouldn't have to be a, a date or anything. <laughs> Look, it's not like I don't think you're a great kid, but I mean, you're Kat's best friend. You're like my other little sister. Okay. I'm super so chasse, pas de bourre. Another single tour. Double tour on the last one. Great. And pirouette to finish. And finish. Hold it. Better. That's it for today, everyone. <coughs> hey, Lieberman. Yeah. What's this? What Oi. are you wearing? Something funny? Wait, I don't touch you. Hey! Is this a ballet school or a boxing ring? Right, Sean, you can explain to Mr. Kennedy why you think wedgies are so hilarious. The rest of you, out of here now. Not so fast, Christian. Lieberman, where's your dance belt? Yeah. I don't believe in them, sir. Don't be ridiculous. It's a uniform. Every male dancer wears support. I swear, I really don't own one. Well, I don't know how you managed to get away with that one, but your little rebellion is officially over. I'm giving you a note to miss study period. You're going on a shopping trip. On oh, Christian, you're his wingman. What? What's this got to do with me? Consider it character building. Ah, uh, you're Tara Webster, right? Yeah, but. You're in the company. You, you're Damien Lay. Uh, yeah, Damo. Hi. <laughs> Look, I've been trying to track you down ever since we got back from the tour. Really? Yeah, my mum, Shirley Lay. And she knows your mum from the Country Women's Association. Of course, Miss Shirley. She adjudicates the estate, but she's terrifying. <laughs> yeah. in, in a good way. No, no, no. Now you know why I had to uh, talk to you when she asked me to. My mum is going to flip when I tell her I met you. <laughs> we saw you dance at the Easter show once, and, and when you got into the company, there was like a parade in your honour. You're a legend. Well, yeah, I'm the local <laughs> Well, it's near the hand. Yeah. Oh, there's one in every year. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, I just have this skill at making a fool of myself. Look, you can't worry about what people here think of you, all right? We're from Mali country. We're supposed to be tough, remember? Right, real tough. Yeah. Yeah, hand it over. <laughs> <laughs> You guys need some help? No, nope, we're just browsing at the moment. No, he needs a dance belt. What size do you want? I don't actually want one. I don't believe in their validity or necessity. I think you'll find they're actually not that bad once you get used to them. What size do you think you are? Um, what's your biggest? <coughs> what? They're based on jean sizes, so... Oh, okay. Uh, 31. Okay. Why don't you give... this one a try? Yeah, sure. Get up that one. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. What's this? The doctor said I'm well enough to dance, but as a medical precaution, I should keep my crossover on, just in case I'm coming down with the flu. I'm intrigued to see the note. She didn't put that bit in writing, but she asked me to tell you. The note. I don't know what's got into you, Abigail. All that's written here is that you present with symptoms not inconsistent with a slight cold. I suppose you can sit the class out. But she said I'm okay to death. Then you will abide by my uniform code. 
Hey, is everything okay in there? Um, Christian. Is he there? Christian. Can you come here a sec? Christian. <sighs> what can possibly be so hard? I mean, if you want me to demonstrate, I'm no, not nothing, going Nothing, nothing. It's fine. It's surprisingly comfortable. Then why are you taking so long? Uh, I've been giving you two some time. She's been checking you out. You don't think she's cute? Excuse me. Hi. Hi, um... Hayley. Hayley. Hayley, can you come here a sec, please? Silver platter and you died in there. Oh, did I now? All right. Hmm. Oh, what's that? No, I don't believe it. All right. Hi, it's Hayley. Pretty soon there's going to be a little beep. Be brave. Leave a yep. message. Hayley, it's, wait, wait, wait. it's Christian. Wait. Being brave. <laughs> Give me the phone. Call me. Give me the phone. Or oh, whatever. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> That was the worst impression of me ever. Yara, I'm Scar one down. We're gonna be late for breakfast. Get out! Whoa, Banshee. You have no right to barge into people's rooms like that. Happily leaving you to a little psychodrama. <laughs> Leave me alone, Kat. Come on. I've known you since we were five and you have never walked out of class. I'm the last person who would understand. Right, well then, for the sake of the exercise, pretend I'm someone else. You want to know what's wrong? Tell me what you see. A really boring leotard. Like you ever noticed. Honestly, you look exactly the same. What about these? That's what you're stressing about. Abigail, they don't look any different. Anyway, I have these. I have bigger these, thankfully. But I'm going to be a principal dancer and principals don't. They just don't. They're ethereal. They're like... Who? Tara? They don't all have flat chests. Take... Take my mum, for example. Natasha is a genetic freak. She's one in a million. Abby, you have spent years stepping over everyone to get this far. Are you really going to let a little bit of this stop you? You all want me to fail. <laughs> this must be the funniest thing that's happened in years. Right. Firstly, no matter what you do, Abigail, you are never going to be funny. And secondly, a crossover? You don't need it. Okay, everyone find their partners. Except you, Tara. Mr. Kennedy wants to see you. I get a move on. A staff member has come to me with a disturbing rumor. One that every student in the school seems to be discussing. But it's not his fault, it's mine. The reason we have a policy about students dating company members is to protect them no, both. No, 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 it's all made up. Not by me exactly, but see, our mothers know each other and some, some girls saw us talking and this rumour just took on a life of its own and I probably could have, I definitely could have said something, but I guess I just, I just thought... You thought what? I never meant it to get this far, or for anyone to get in trouble. A story like this could ruin Damien's career and do yours a lot of damage as well. I'm extremely disappointed in you, Tara. Damien! I can't talk to you anymore, all right? Just stay away Wait, from me. Wait, please, stop, please. I explained everything to them. All right, well, explain it to me. It's stupid. There's this guy, and he's in third year, and I thought, I thought that if he knew that someone older liked me, that he, he might see me differently. So I just watched my career almost get wiped out because of some stupid schoolgirl crush. Sorry. You know, when we first talked, I thought how great it was that there was this kid at the academy that was real. I was proud to come from the same place as you. You shouldn't be in such a hurry to grow up. Hi. You guys in trouble again? Some. <laughs> you know, you look better without makeup.